And good afternoon. Welcome to the News at 4. I'm Kim Fields. And I'm Brian Holmes. You know, brain surgeons already have to have delicate precision and incredible eyesight. But there's a new technology being used right here in Idaho that gives surgeons like this a view unlike they've seen before. It is incredible. It's called augmented reality brain surgery, and it blends digital images with real life shots of the brain. As Tammy Tremblay explains, doctors can see even deeper into the brain with this technology and reduce the risk of some sort of mistake or error. First, though, a warning. This story does include surgical video. With your surgery, we used some pretty cool technology. Mike Griggs is one of the first patients in Idaho to have augmented reality assisted brain surgery. Dr. Edward Duckworth is his neurosurgeon. Mr. Griggs had a rupture of an arteriovenous malformation, um, which is, we call them ABMs, or it's like a tangle of abnormal blood vessels within the brain. Um, he was probably born with it. Mr. Griggs never knew he had it until it started to bleed. He was at home in Haley. All of a sudden, all I can remember is an overwhelming pain coming over. Um, I mean, it was incredibly painful and, and something I couldn't even imagine. He was flown to St. Luke's downtown where Dr. Duckworth was standing by in Idaho's only brain surgery program. We start with what we call embolization, which um, we also refer to as gluing. Um, and that's where you take a catheter up into the brain and inject glue. And that does a good job of plugging it up. It's actually done through the wrist. There's actually no incision. It's great. Um, it's just a needle stick in the wrist um, into the radial artery. We can actually get pretty large catheters through the artery in the wrist and up to the brain um, to do whatever we need to do. But he says it's not a cure. The AVM could bleed again and needed to be removed. This is when the augmented reality technology played a big role a few days later. So we were able to see um, exactly where the ABM was through the, the operating microscope uh, with a computer image a silhouette of the, the ABM and the hemorrhage. So we knew exactly where we were going. It's truly cutting edge and St. Luke's is the only hospital in the state that utilizes it for brain surgery. And it's just it's a real game changer um, to be able to see exactly where you're going in real time through a heads up display um, in the operating microscope. Dr. Duckworth says augmented reality makes brain surgery safer, and he's proud to be the first in our region to use it. It's exciting. It's an exciting time to be a neurosurgeon, and you know I don't I don't want to go back to the, the old way of operating. As you can imagine, Mr. Griggs is happy he benefited from the new technology. I'm just grateful to be here. Mike Griggs is also the first patient in Idaho to have brain surgery through the wrist. That's amazing. And the good news is he's got a great prognosis.